Hello boys and girls. So today what you're going to be doing is I'm going to read a story to you today and after I'm finished reading you the story you are going to write a journal entry for me in a composition book. If you don't have a composition book yet that's okay. You can use a piece of paper but if you do have your composition book which was on our supply list then you can use your composition book. So, the story that I'm going to be reading today is called Wimberly Worried, and it's by Kevin Hinkins. Wimberly Worried About Everything. Big things, little things, and things in between. So, down here in the corner, she says... I wanted to make sure you were still there to her parents and mama what if I shrink in the bathtub. Wimberly worried in the morning, she worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much said her mother. When you worry, I worry said her father. Worry 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. So I want you to be thinking, boys and girls, how do you feel when you feel worried? What are some feelings that you feel like? Do you feel like nervous? Are you like, does your stomach hurt? Sometimes when I'm really, really worried, my stomach will hurt. At home, Wimberly worried about the tree in the front yard. What if it falls on our house? And the crack in the living room wall? What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made? What if there's a snake inside? So when you're worried, you're afraid, kind of, that something will happen. Something bad will happen. At the playground, Wimberly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. They're too rusty, too loose, and too high. And always she worried about her doll, Petal. Shouldn't I take Petal? I found her. She's lost forever. I'll wait for you, Petal. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimberly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimberly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left. So sometimes when I'm feeling worried too, I chew my nails, which is a bad habit. You you shouldn't do that. And Miss Hay has tried to stop doing that, but sometimes I still do when I'm really worried. On her birthday, Wimberly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. So everybody showed up, but then she was worried that there wouldn't be enough cake for everybody. On Halloween, Wimberly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimberly worried because she was the only one. So she dressed up like a butterfly, and she was like, what if everybody else dresses up like a butterfly? But then she was like, what if I'm the only one dressed up like a butterfly? You worry too much, said her, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon, Wimberly had a new worry, school. Wimberly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. And I want you all to think she's really worried about school starting. I wonder if you all kind of feel the same way. Or have ever felt that way. By the time the first day arrived, Wimberly had lit a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one wears stripes? What if no one else brings it all? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry? Don't worry, said her mother. 
Don't worry, said her father. But Wimberly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wimberly's parents talked to the teacher, Mrs. Peacham, Wimberly looked around the room. Then Miss Peacham said, Wimberly, there is someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes. She was holding a doll. And who else holds a doll? Or has a doll? At first, Wimberly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimberly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved and Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimberly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. So they have quite a bit in common. Throughout the morning, Wimberly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimberly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even a little less. But Wimberly, before Wimberly knew it, it was time to go home. Come back tomorrow, called Mrs. Peacham as the students walked out the door. Wimberly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. All right. So she was really worried almost that entire story, but did it work out for her? Yes, it did, right? She made a new friend and she felt better. So in your journal, whenever you all get your journal, this says spelling, but I want you to ignore that. This was just an extra one that I had from last year, so I'm going to use it. So once you get your journal, on the inside of it, you're going to start on the very, very first page, okay? And I want you to write journal one. Journal one, and that's how you spell it. If you need to pause this right here so you can learn, or not learn, but know how to spell it, then pause it and you can use mine as an example. All right. After you write that in your journal, you're going to answer a question for me and I want you to use complete sentences. And if you've forgotten what a complete sentence is, a complete sentence starts with a capital letter, ends with a punctuation mark like a period or a question mark or an exclamation point if you're really excited. And it needs to be a complete sentence. So you don't, I wouldn't say, and I feel this way. You never start a sentence with and. You always start with what you're talking about and make sure that you use your best handwriting so that Miss Hay can read it. So what I want you to write in your journal, I want you to tell me two things that you're worried about starting this school year. So maybe you're feeling a little worried because you're worried you won't be able to talk to your friends that much. Maybe you're worried that your internet won't work. Something like that. I want you to write two sentences telling me two things that you're worried about. And then I want you to write one sentence telling me how can we make it better? What is something we can do if we're feeling worried? How can we feel better? What's something that we can do to feel better? Like when I am trying to feel better, I always like to take a nice relaxing walk or sometimes I take a bubble bath or sometimes I just sit down for a minute and close my eyes and just breathe those deep belly breaths and that's how I feel better. So I want you to write two sentences telling me what you're worried about and then one sentence telling me how you can feel better if you do start to feel worried because everybody feels worried sometimes but I don't want it to be I don't want you to worry so much like Wimberly that you don't have a good time and that you're not enjoying school so that's what you're writing in your journal I can't write I can't wait to read your responses and on the website there'll be directions of how to show me your answers in your journal okay but that's what you're doing all together it'll be how many sentences one two three, okay? One worry, a second worry, and how you can feel better. All right? Three sentences. Thank you all.